How we doing folks? Welcome back. I know it's been a while, but we've been busy. <laughs> right, I've been meaning to bring this, well I've been wanting to bring this video to you for ages, so we finally moved. So it was always, it was always a dream of ours to move to Scotland. So we bought an house in Wales. <music> So how did that happen? How did that come about? Well, I'll be honest, we couldn't really find anywhere that we wanted that, you know, that fit the the criteria. And I mean, I know Wales is a, a stunning country where you, you know, you get out in the sticks and we're in Powys and we came and had a look at this place and it's over six months ago now. It seems an eternity. And we didn't think it was going to happen at one point, but it did and we've officially moved in so we've been in I think we've had the keys for about a week we're still emptying boxes and the assorted things that you accumulate over 25 years in the same house so we're still shifting gear but we're uh, we're as good as we're we're in we're in so let's have a look around eh now the criteria was we wanted we wanted to downsize a bit, we didn't need a big house anymore, but we wanted a bit of land. And we've got a bit of land. So we've got three acres. And this is this is the top part. So we've got, I don't know, probably three quarters of an acre in this particular paddock. Big lump of wood to go at, we're gonna start chopping that up after. And I'm, I'm still exploring, I'm, I don't know, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop to be honest because there's just so much to to see and find and you know all sorts to go at. So we wanted we wanted some woodland. Now granted we haven't got a massive amount of woodland. I mean you can see behind me there, you know, there's enough to keep me busy, don't you worry. But we've got this lovely it's on we're on like a, a slope down into the valley if you will and you know the first time we came down there were we had four red kites circling around above with buzzards and you know I keep seeing stuff all the time there's a buzzard up there now oh you won't be able to just catch it on here but believe me there's there's plenty about now the previous owners they showed me pictures of foxes they'd taken in the garden they've seen badgers what else? Oh, I had a chat with the neighbours the other day. They've got a they've got a little lake opposite, and they get otters on there, kingfisher, and pole cats of all things. So that's going to be that's going to be a fantastic little venue, you know, for camera trapping as well. Camera trapping is going to be great because it's on my own patch, and all oh, being well, it's going to be safe, isn't it? So right, this is the wood. The wood goes down into a. There's a, a nice stream down in the bottom. There you can see down there, that's going to attract some, some stuff. There's a lot of scrapings down the side of the side of the road where the badgers have been foraging. So yeah, tawny owls, oh night time. You can hear them calling to each other. So that's going to be a, a definite project, is the tawny owls. Really excited about that. And I just want to hit the ground running. So we're gonna get a load of trail cams down. Next couple of days, that's a, a definite. Let's have a look down here. Try to go on my backside. So, I'll tell you what, we'll spin you around. There we go. So, a little walk through the woods. A lot of, a lot of hazel. There we go, there's the stream down there. Always great for attracting wildlife, some water, a water source. So I don't want to tidy it up too much. We want to keep it all 
nice and wild. There we go. Let's have a wander back up here. A lot of squirrels about, not too happy about that. We don't want we don't want them. Not good for the the nesting birds. So and here we go. This is our little road down to the house. It's a steep old road and all got the removal van stuck, which was a a tail in itself. There's the house. Look at that view. Beautiful. Another little tiny stream there. Just runs down into the main one. So that's the that's the house. I've set a little feeding station already, just up up there we've got like a climbing rose and clematis we have got all sorts on there great spotted woodpeckers down this morning coal tits long tails blue tits blackbirds nuthatches you know the usual suspects so heading down here we've got there's our stream again nice little babbling brook bit of a project going on with the barn so that's our barn. This is this is all going to be documented. We've got a few projects to do with this. Down the side of the barn. There we go. A bizarre looking polytunnel, which is going to get replaced at some point. And so this is us down to down to the corner, bottom end. And that's the view down the valley. What a glorious day. And we've got a bit of a rainbow going on as well. And there we go. That's our that's our border up there. Nice new hawthorn edge planted. Stock fenced as well. So sit on mower required, I think. There we go. So it's going to keep me fit, isn't it? <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, there's there's so much potential for wildlife, and that's what we want to do. We want to create that, you know, wildlife haven, and get as much down as we can, and get loads of bird boxes up. There's no bird boxes up here at the moment. I'm going to get a couple of owl boxes up. Look at that all the already snowdrops are up. And some other, I've got to be careful where I'm standing. Look at them already. Now I think, I think we're in for a, a bit of an Arctic blast yet. I think it's a bit too early to say the weather's turned. But here we go. That's the little feeding station we've got set up. There we go. Great for the small birds. And they're so tame already. I'm literally probably five metres away and they're on the table coming down feeding really well so this is the orchard we've got a nice fruit orchard I think there's seven trees in here all together a mixture of apple and crab apple so again some nice log piles good for you rodents and that I'm not going to disturb these I want to try and keep it keep it wild I know there's stalks and weasels knocking about so that big pile I'm going to keep that and now this is this was one of the big selling points for us the fact that there's a field so we've got this wildflower meadow don't look like a wildflower meadow at the moment obviously but in summer it looked absolutely lush it was stunning and I've already set a bit of a bit of a feeding state well you know just some some perches see if we can get the buzzards coming down because there's there's buzzards and kites are plenty now my daughter she was 
down the other day, down the bottom end of the garden, and she said she saw a big grey bird fly down fast as well. Now, I didn't see it, and I said to her it was probably a sparrow walk. Showed her a picture, she said no, it was bigger than that, so... I mean, I was thinking straight away goshawk, and that would be fantastic because if we look, if we look round, we've got conifer forest there, deciduous, you never know, do you? And there are goshawks, this neck of the woods, so you never know. So, sorry, I'll spin you around again. Here we are, walking like a little glade. I don't know what this is here, it's like a, a hobbit shelter. Previous residences have obviously made that. So yeah, we've got that little glade down there and then we're up onto the meadow, the wildflower meadow. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some extra planting on here. I'm gonna put some rowan in, I'm gonna put some crab apple trees in. I wanna kinda, kind of extend this. So, get them winter thrushes down, be great for them. And we've just got, we've got a couple of posts up and I've just put a, a pheasant on there, a bit of roadkill, just to see what comes down. And I'm gonna put a couple of trail cams on there tomorrow. So, that is the new place. And I've just, like I said before, Oh, I've been dying to bring this video to you because we were, you know, just so excited about it. It's going to be pretty spectacular. But there's a lot of projects to do, and probably all of the next 12 months are going to be projects based around here. You know, we're going to be hide building, we've got bird boxes to build, we've got to put them up, and I want to try and document everything and show you the progression of the place because at the moment, you know, the they fed the birds before now just uh, the small birds in the in the orchard and what have you but I want to kind of ramp it up a bit and do some clever planting you know get some teasels planted we've got a big poly tunnel to put down and and just stuff you do when you you know you get into a new place so that's the new the new abode so welcome to Wales so thanks for watching Stick with us and we'll see you on the next one. See you now.